Do well. Where is Brody? Oh, hey Brody, didn't oh. see you there. I'm right here. Oh, hey Brody, I think you're gonna do well. Top hat, didn't know you were there. Packed crowd, I think you're gonna do great. What do they like? I'm gonna be. Are you on high energy jokes? I'm gonna do class. I'm just gonna be myself. You know what I think they want? I think they want Brody Stevens. You got it. Hat off, hat on. Um, what would Brody Stevens do? I like hat on. Oh, because I'm bald. No. Well, I like I'm gonna do crowd work and have a good time. You're not gonna hear any new jokes, probably not. Everybody wants to hear new jokes. These are like people, you can't do brand new stuff on these shows. I want to let you know that. Danny! What's going on, bro? What's up, buddy? What happens? Good to see ya. I'm doing the early spot. I'm in my room tonight. I was last night. Huh? It was fun. It was like 40 at the end. There went a light. It was fun. It's good to see you, dude. It was good. It was cold. No. I want the spring training. from what do you do you guys are packed in it's early you want laughs you want me to connect I'm here Periscope now. Team Brody, forever. We'll get you on the podcast. We should do it here. We can do it here. Do it forever. I'm eight one eight. I'm here. I'm there. Enjoy it. Uh, some road gigs coming. How was the show with Spade? Oh, he told us it was fun. He treats you really good. Yes. Good. Good job, Dan. Yes. It went well. As I expected it would be. Once that's 
that big one? Hey, girl. Hi, Andrew. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, You're not going to ask. Could. You could. Really? I'm on Klonopin. Somebody put it in my Klondike bar. You have to give these people the basics. You have to give these people the basics. You can't give them new stuff. People are going to expect new stuff on this thing. Yeah, dude, new stuff. I'm getting a little tired of just the same old. Uh, see you in that. I did all the new stuff. I did a lot of new stuff last night. Well, then I know you're joking. Glad I wasn't here. No, but you know how it is. Of course, I'm joking. Dan is joking. You need, you need a counterpoint. You know, so you get riled up. That's right. People like Brody riled up. Yeah, they like Brody. Riled up. So even though I, I have full love for bro, I never am serious. And I'm sober, no pod. Really? Yeah. When did that happen? It's been a while. Gravity. About to go on. What's next? Jeff's going to be sober? Jeff, the piano player? I am sober. <laughs> Until 10.30. He's, uh, he's sober. Well, I'm not smoking pot. Like before. Oh, you're not? not More for Jeff than you. You're not going to take all his right, stuff. Right, right. It paranoids me, right? I'm going through paranoia phases. So I also uh, be more proactive to help you out with your room. I've sat there. I don't understand why. You were here at the comedy store. They seem older and like relaxed. I think they're wise. All right, audio. It's audio. Don't worry. Is it actual Periscope though? It's Periscope app. But it's just hey guys, audio. how are you? So happy about this. So Periscope is still alive. It's still going. And I, I know you were killing it. Are oh, you still killing it on Periscope? I still do it. It's fantastic. Joey's. I mean, Joey's killer on it. Joey Diaz. Yeah. So he didn't go to the Instagram Live or any of that. He stuck with Periscope. He pretty much just Periscope. Wow. I mean, he gets like 30,000 viewers. Holy moly. I get like 1,000. TV show. I get 1,000 if I'm lucky. <laughs> but you can't compare. It's not about... I know, the guy, I, went, I know one of the guys who started it. Periscope? Yeah, he's a Persian guy named Kayvon. Young kid. I met him at a show. And the great story is that uh, Twitter bought Periscope. And someone hacked my Twitter account, and I didn't know how to get it back. So I contacted this Kayvon dude, and he got like Twitter security on it, and Brick brought me back. Nice. Good to know people. Enjoy it, Kayvon. Enjoy it's, it. it's, his, it's his Periscope, made by proudly made by immigrants. That's yeah, what it says. that's what it is. Yeah, this kid's smart. He's like, I, mean, I met him like five, six years ago, probably in his mid to late 20s, so. They'll probably give him a lot of money. I think so. Yeah, he's a rich, rich kid now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, Brody. Bring it up, Maz. Bring it up, Maz Jabroni. Bring it up, people. Yes. Uh, I have to do well. I'm in town a little bit. Yeah, I saw you 
supposed to be less so less. He's high energy, good guy. Yeah. Learning. I have to do more. This is the original room. Yeah, but she's got a new job, which would be great. Talking about the bad, the one that you did not bad, but the one that went the way you didn't want it to go. Right. Yeah. So last last night was much better. Good. So we'll see on this over. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna be uh, gonna be Adam telling you how to make a Oh man, great sound. <laughs> Just where I was in the hangover. 
I know you're thinking, if this guy had a show on Comedy Central, why is he not on Comedy Central? <laughs> why is he not? Well, you know what? I'm here. I like, you know, I'm from the Valley. I um, enjoy staying local. I'm a local guy. I do neighborhood watch in neighborhoods I don't even live in. They just drop me off. Very good looking. I've done a lot of modeling in Pakistan. I am, uh, you got it. Full room laughter. Early show, Saturday night. This is all I got. I'm hanging out with you. After the show, I'm going to follow you back to the hotel, hop in your Uber. I got time. I've got time. I'm normally the late guy. They put me on at, at midnight, 1 o'clock, but I got an 8 45 spot, and it feels good to be with regular people. Arms cross negative. Arms cross negative. Early show judgment. Coming after me. I'm a good guy. I call 911 when I see an accident as I mess up my speech. I made a mistake. I blame this guy. I am a good guy. I call 911 when I see an accident on NASCAR. I, uh, that was the joke. I messed it up, but you were still there for me like a great audience that you are. I'm going to yelp you. I'm going to say, this audience is great. You're helping me. I help you. I scratch your back. You shake mine. Uh, doing well. I drive a 1996 Toyota Avalon. Leather exterior. <laughs> Cruise control in reverse. I love hip hop. I listen to Bow Wow and Luterus. I mean, I'm doing well. I have, I have tinted windshield wipers. I wrote that last night, and uh, I think I think that I think that line has potential. Good stuff. Bow tie. I like it. Nation of Islam. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> Um, things are going great. Great news, guys. I just, I was, I, I know you're trying, don't recognize me from The Hangover. A lot of people don't. Uh, probably because I'm a good actor. Uh, great news, I just booked another movie. Thank you. Uh, it's an adult video out in Chatsworth. I'm doing a solo scene on a yoga mat. Let's get it going. We're in Hollywood. I almost didn't make it here tonight. Freaking traffic. They're setting up for this the gay pride parade. I mean, it's, the streets are blocked off. I'm running late. I got places to go, and they got this the the, the gay pride parade. And on top of that, my float broke down. So uh, <laughs> what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I'm in a good mood. Don't worry. Somebody put Klonopin in my Klondike bar. I'm in a good mood. 80% of all comedians here smoke marijuana. 80%. The other 20%, they're not funny. How bad do you want it? I get lonely. Sometimes I go to the batting cage just to play catch. Is it strange that I watch porn on PlayStation 2? Is that weird? Oh, it's a Christian group. I'm busting my tail up here, giving you high energy. All right, I went to Subway. I was there preparing, visualizing, eating my sun chips. You know, this is my life, man. I mean, I, times are tough, I'll be honest. I have two other jobs. I, I work at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Looks like I'm a chuckle guy. I'll never hit the home run unless you know me. Oh, he's too angry. He's too aggressive. Really? I'm from the valley. 818 till I die. <laughs> Let me do some crowd work. Where are you from? Northern Michigan. Northern Michigan. He's up there in the Upper Peninsula. Militia, a lot of things. <laughs> Shooting guns with Ted Nugent. I get it. I went to Arizona State University. Thank you. 
2.52 GPA. Very smart. The Asian kids would cheat off me. I cheated off them. That's right. I got back at them. I cheated off them. Unfortunately, it was in driver's ed. So, uh... <laughs> if you hear a chuckle, join in. <laughs> I should be getting laughs based off cadence alone. <laughs> Frickin' I was in traffic because they got the SAG Awards at the Chateau Marmont. It's blocked off and it stressed me out. <laughs> I'm intense, man. I get B.O. in the shower. I get road rage at the car wash. My mother is 87. She's an Uber driver. She lives in Palm Springs. We just got her on star. We got my mom on star. We had the chip implanted in her neck. In case she wanders. We found her at Chico's. We found her wandering at Chico's after dusk. Had to send her back home. Can't even play around. You have to give the basic stuff. I'm different. Don't you get it by now? My beard is perfect. Okay, I got it done in a geometry class. They used a protractor on me. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. She's a great fan. You're cool. You're a good person. Where are you visiting from? Salt Lake. Salt Lake City, Mormon. She rode her bicycle here. She's healthy. She exercises. Woo! And I went to Arizona State and got a lot of Mormon. There's a Mormon connection. You got it. Let me meet your wives. Where are they? Right there. She's Mormon too. I get chicks. I was just with a girl from Greece. The movie. Uh, she's 75 now. And we made out while watching Cocoon. Yes! Now normally, the Cocoon line gets nothing. But tonight, it gets a big laugh. So the tables are turned and I need to figure it out. That's what we're dealing with. I normally do the laugh. Is somebody vaping? I've seen vapor in my retinas and cones. My retinas. I do retina raises and cornea crunches. I take care of my eyes. I caught my roommate masturbating. I caught my roommate masturbating. True story. He fell out of the bunk bed directly into my arms. And I finished him off because I'm a good guy. I just closed my eyes and did it. All right, I added that. That didn't happen. Go ahead and blow your nose. It's okay. That's okay. You got a good beard, too. I'm very... Give it up for the weight staff. We're getting very hard. Yes! Let's get them drunk. Let's get them buzzed. I want to see this crowd tripping. <laughs> not part of the Mile High Club. That's having sex in the airplane. I am not part of the Mile High Club. However, one time I masturbated on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> it was on the Santa Monica Pier. I'm not allowed near the ocean anymore. I upset people. You help me, I help you. You scratch your back, you shave mine. Thank you. I said that earlier, right? See? Repeating jokes. That's a mental problem. You want reality? I repeat jokes because I have mental problems. Somebody call Kaiser. Send them down here. I was born at Kaiser, and I'm going to die at Kaiser. Kaiser permanently. Big laugh. Like it. New one. In the app. I hope Kaiser expands. As Kaiser grows, that joke grows. You're a good guy. I like your energy. Where are you visiting from? Seattle. Where did I learn to sell t-shirts? You got it. For the Seattle Supersonics. I worked at Red Robin. The original Red Robin was in Seattle. You know that? I worked there. 
<laughs> Played baseball at Arizona State. I'm wearing a jock strap right now. <laughs> it's a youth medium. I got a complaint against sports. A little stuck. Very intense. Twice I charged the mound in T-ball. And right after that parent's fanny pack. Why do they call it a fanny pack if it hangs over your genitals? It should be called a sack pack. Whatever. My mother loved the arts and crafts. My mother loved the arts and crafts. After giving birth to me, she had her tubes tied into a balloon animal. <laughs> I'm an energy comedian. I'm energy based, born Jewish, raised Gemini. Let's go! I look to the stars. It's year of the dog through February 5th. Year of the dog. Dog spelled backwards. God, you got it. And everybody's losing their dogs on Twitter. Help me find my dog. Help me find my dog. You know what? They always find their dog. I think it's a scam. I think it's a scam. Why, well, I've had three friends lose dogs and they found them three days later. Oh, I'm the bad guy? They just turned the light on because of you guys. You don't come after me. I tried to do the dog bit and you shut it down. Well, I'm Year of the Dog, 1970. Who here is Year of the Dog? Anybody? I am. And I'm on this show, and I park for free. And I was in the Hangover. Hangover 1, in it. Hangover 2, in it. Due date, in it. Funny people, cut out of it. I'm going to do these are the early shows. I'm pushing it. I'm having fun. I'm into weird stuff. I probably shouldn't talk about it. This guy's into it. Where are you visiting from? San Diego. San Diego. Boom. Made it. Caravan. You got it. And we laugh. He's not in a caravan. Were you? Let me see your ticket. Let me punch the ticket. You guys are warming up to me. Um, I'm into weird stuff, I'll be honest. With you. Oh, they finally turned the air back on. They, they shut the air off when I go on the set. When I get up here, turn the air off, get them uncomfortable, see what happens. It's like a freaking shock collar. I don't like it. I'm into weird stuff. I have fetishes. Um, yes, I am into amputees. There, I said it. I knew it would shock you. I took a chance. I am aroused by amputation. Go ahead, hate me. Recently, I took my infatuation for amputation to another level. True story. I hooked up with an amputee. Um, I met her on StubHub. And, and you're laughing at that. You sick people. You sick people. You didn't want to laugh, but you are. Shame on you. We went to IHOP. And, uh, oh, you laughed more at that. You're sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I went quick. I'd like to do more. We have more coming. You're from Detroit? My mom is from Detroit. Where? Chico's. <laughs> Call back. Fox Theater. My grandfather opened the famous Fox Theater. Yeah. I have show business in my blood. So I watch Nickelodeon. All right, you're a fun crowd. I had a great time. We have two more fantastic, two or three more fan, I think three more fantastic comedians. 
Uh, you can see me later. I'll be at the 7-Eleven down the street. <laughs> this guy's going to get a head start. <laughs> get me a slurping. <laughs> you know, you're a fun crowd, and I had a good time up here, and uh, I appreciate you listening, and uh, check me out on the internet. <laughs> the Dark Web. I love music. I'm the house drummer at the Guitar Center. I know who's that. This guy is my friend. We were just talking in the, the parking lot. We've been here for a long time. He's done movies. He's traveled around. He's a great comedian. Internationally known. Fun guy. Good guy. I consider him a friend. I added him today on MySpace. You'll love him. He's a good guy. You've seen him in the, some of the Friday movies. He's had his specials. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Maz Jabrani! Yes! Once they, once they warmed up, once they warmed up, I was happy with it. I thought it was good once I got like loose. Yeah, you got once it. I figured them out. Yeah, you got to cook it after a few minutes. You it can take, tell. It, it, but you know, it was a living thing. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I'm on Periscope, but are you? Oh, this okay. is Howard Kramer, everybody. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a living set. It had, uh, you know. It had its like uh, rhythm to it. It wasn't like, oh, I'm just delivering, you know, like us tried and true. It right. was, uh, it was a living ups thing. and downs. I heard new stuff. Yeah, people say I never do new stuff. What I new? Heard, what what uh, was new? Uh, well, there was one you said was new. It was going in the act. What was that one? I have uh, <laughs> tinted windshield wipers. That, that was new. I got to yeah, pause. That was a good one. <laughs> then there was. Uh, well, you changed the Sugar Ray thing to the Santa Monica, but then um, I'm not. I'm not allowed near the ocean anymore. It's funny. There you go. I've like, been adding that one. To, like, to be banned from the whole ocean because you did something. But like that it. works locally because it's, uh, you know, touristy. They would know that. Yeah. But I could say Santa Monica Pier. But there, was, there was one other one that I didn't hear before. You did a couple new ones. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people come on the Periscope and say, oh, he's doing the same stuff all the time. I need to write. I need to do this. Well, I'll let me address those people. Uh, this is the way new stuff gets written. It gets written two or three lines at a time, a little joke mixed in. He's not going to go up there and you're going to hear like brand new whole chunk of, you know, a set. Right? Right. Yeah. Once I relaxed and they were relaxed with me, then it was like fun. Yeah. And I could tell, like, they didn't like certain stuff, but then I put the mic down, and then I yelled at them. They yeah, liked yeah, it. That's that how it was great. in Tulsa a little bit. Right. I do a couple of my jokes, right? and I put the mic. I go, come on! Right. This is my life! Right. And as yeah, long yeah. as I'm not really mad, which I'm not, right. you know, I'm not hopped up on Red Bull and pot and whatever, right. it works out. So Yes, and uh, you, were, you used, you included what was really going on, which was that stressful traffic on the way here. It was, right? Yeah. They weren't with me on the dog bed. I was just trying to, like... Oh, you know what was one that uh, you even said I shouldn't add that in again? Yeah. Eleanor! Hi, Brody. How are you? You know Howard, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eleanor yeah. Karen. Yeah. Good to see you. Aren't Come you going Seattle. to the award? I remember that. No, no. He's, he's oh, from down here. <laughs> Aren't you going to the award show tonight? Or is tomorrow it tomorrow? Night. Tomorrow night. SAG Awards. What is this? 
It's Periscope uh, oh, audio Periscope. only. All audio only. Wait, but I met. Didn't you guys used to do stand up together? You're thinking oh, of Tana, right. maybe. Ah, that's yeah. what I well, did. Well, we, we have known right. each other a lot of times. Okay. So, yeah. right. We do shows. Howard's a good guy. Squat Melt. Great podcast. Who okay. charted? Right. We do a thing together. And Eleanor mentioned today in the New York Times. Oh, nice. You got it. That's Excellent. all thanks to Andrew because he didn't want to look for a date. So he what was used the article me. about? It was about Andrew Dice Play, but he oh. used, he's taking me to the SAG Awards. Oh, nice. But we're going to use it as like Tinder and we're going to meet people and look for dates. Oh, good. That's very exciting. For, you know what's for each other? Or? No, yeah, for each other. That's yeah. funny. But you know what's funny? Okay, you know how I told you how I've told everybody that I introduced Andrew to Bradley Cooper? Yes. I've mentioned that. Yes. So, and I read the article today because they talked about, in the article, they said that they met at the Troubadour, at the Guns N' Roses concert. Technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Andrew knew that I knew Bradley somehow, and he knew, this was like at the uh, the Starbucks, and he knew that Bradley was a fan. I mentioned yeah. Bradley, and he goes, oh yeah, I know Bradley thinks I'm, likes me. He says, tell him I said hello, he'll freak out. Anything else? He goes, no, just say that. He'll like be, Andrew's like playing a, a goof on him, like yeah. just a toy with him. Of course. So I did that, I like, I said, Andrew says hello. Oh really, he says hello, I go, yeah, something else. Just toyed with him through a couple texts. This is back yeah. in, uh, 2014 or 2013 yeah. and then that's they then they i guess they met at the troubadour after that right, or whatever uh, pretty much right after that i think yeah because he was like you don't know what your family means to me like that really happened he called me that night to tell me how excited he was yeah so i looked on my text messages on this phone and i thought it would like transfer over so i looked for Bradley Cooper of my phone. I still have his number and he may have changed it. Who knows? I looked and I didn't see it. See it. So then I went to my other phone that I used for my recording. I went to that phone. Howard's falling asleep. <laughs> Why are you being yeah. negative, Howard? I can't follow the story. It's really long. It's not really long. Are you following, I'm following it? it? I, I think so, you are you know everybody involved. Oh, well, yeah, you don't know Bradley Cooper. You don't know Andrew Dice Clay. I don't Dice know where going with this. I just keep just trust that it's. Name. I just got off stage. Trust that I know what I'm doing. See, I that's saw. negative energy, Howard. <laughs> that's <laughs> negative energy. Now the payoff to me is going to be not fun. I got to get lotion. And now oh, I lost her. Out there. You walked her. No, you walked. You walked. I didn't walk her. So I went into my old phone, okay. and the text is there. Ah. I found the old text. So you got, yeah, so it's real. It really, you're the one who, like, opened Bradley up. Like, hey. I opened Bradley up to Dice, That's is what right. I'm getting at. You and I have that. the text to prove it, yeah. and I took a screen grab That's of him today. That's where he's going with this story. But you okay. shut it down, like, you don't want me to, su you don't want me to succeed. That's, you know me, that's the way I am. But you gotta I, twist that. This is, we have to be positive in this world. attention span. But Are Howard, you? know that I'm Howard. We podcast. Did you? I listened to him talk for three hours yesterday. Did you create a uh, short attention span theater? No, I didn't. Mark oh, Maron was on that. that. And he's oh, right I, behind you. Oh, yeah. See short that. attention span theater. Yeah. Uh, but you, you have a short attention span. Well, I mean, Brody and I podcast together. I heard him talk for four hours yesterday. Now it's four. <laughs> it went from three. It was really two. It's all perception. But Howard, this was a good story. I would have just let it go and you started like being I'm a little. I'm having fun. Yeah, but it's not on the on the Periscope. They're gonna wonder what's happening. Oh, so, are they? Don't tag me. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get so close. Sorry if I yelled in your ear, guys. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, so I have it. I'll, I'll show you the screen grabs later. I don't okay, think I I'll, gotta see them. That's great. I, th I don't know if they transferred over to the phone, but it's in my other phone. But yeah, Bradley. Oh yeah, Dice says hello. Oh really? Stuff All like that. All excited. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, he. I mean, look. After uh, Dice was wrapped on. The A Star is Born, um, Bradley Cooper, and it was like four in the afternoon, maybe five, something like that. Uh, the, it was a really, really intense, deep scene, and everyone's like bawling and stuff. And then he goes, All right, Dice is wrapped, you know, and he's like, And the whole crowd, he goes, Can everybody come in here? And like, we were all crammed in the space, and he started doing Dice's nursery rhymes. Oh, wow. It, were you there? Oh, yeah. It was insane. We you were, were on like, set of uh, A Star is Born? Yeah. All the time, every day. No, no, no. Just the one. Andrew took me to the the real uh, when he had to get real deep. He was nervous, you know. N -n -n normal. Where do they shoot that? Yeah. Vegas or here? Here, Calabasas. Oh, I've been out there. Yeah. Oh, the scenes at the house. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it, but it was like, 
such a beautiful scene and so deep and then he goes into the nursery rhyme like such a child it was so great i was like oh my god <laughs> even andrew was embarrassed yeah andrew yeah. was like completely embarrassed like oh my god was and he then, doing the voice too? and all the whole set like everyone the grit everybody that works on the set started doing the rhymes that's awesome there you andrew go was completely embarrassed but loved it <laughs> I mean, I was there. I mean, Eleanor's been in Andrew's life, you know, very, you know. A little too long, yeah. But I, I was there when Andrew was writing his book. <laughs> I was helping Andrew with the book. He'd read chapters to me. He oh, my God. He would drive me around. We'd go to Jamba Juice. We would go to Bed Bath & Beyond. How did he do the book? Tell them how he did the book. He would handwrite it. Yeah. <laughs> he handwrote the book. Wow. Well, at least 1,200 pages oh of my handwritten. God. This poor guy who helped him. Um, how to transcribe uh, it. How to uh, it. Kept calling me and going, oh, I can't figure this word out. Like his spell, he spells it the way he feels. <laughs> I see the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's too good. All right, are you going on somewhere? Yeah, I'm doing a podcast right now. Comedy yes, you are. You are doing a podcast. Comedy Store Podcast. Uh, check it out. Who's on tonight? Maz Jabrani, ladies and gentlemen. Love to Maj get back Jabrani. on. Love to get back we on. We love you on there. Maybe while I'm going, you'll guest host with Rick a little bit if we can book some people. How long are you going to be gone for? Uh, I'm gone for like a little over a month. Where are you going? Uh, I'm doing the Practical Jokers cruise, then I'm headlining at the Brokerage Comedy Club in Long Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then Toronto, then I... What's in Toronto? I'm just doing a private gig. But then Good for I, you. How come yeah. I didn't get it? I'm sorry. Then yeah, I hook, I I'll, I'll give him your number. Then I hook back, up with, hook back up with Andrew and we do... Um, Stress Factory in Jersey and Connecticut, and then Miami Improv, and then Fort Lauderdale Black Box. Wow. Oh, you can't say that. So I'm like, beep, 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 beep. You're doing a black show? Why well, can't Black Box? Oh, okay. I could say black. I could say whatever I want. I'm from Philadelphia. I'll fight whoever has a problem with it. <laughs> Eleanor, you got it. Steven, great job the other day. Thank you. You got it, pal. All right, there she goes. He was on the podcast like yeah. a couple weeks ago. He was, yeah, a new regular. He was paid regular. Unleash the Fury. I want to do Minnesota. I need to do the road. I think I'm going to oh do Omaha. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm doing Seattle. I'm going to. I got to get out and do more road games, right, Howard? That's right. Yes. We'll go to Seattle and Portland. Let me get my. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah, yeah. I mean uh, Portland and SF. Yeah, there we go. So what? So they'll just go on Periscope, and now they just listen. They don't look at any picture. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is just this is what it will look like. So, I mean, I. It has the option of doing audio only. So this is audio only. So I, can, I don't have to worry about somebody holding the camera up. And I, I still do video. Right. I just didn't do it tonight. I got it. Yeah, that's effective. Let's let's ask the uh, Periscope audience real quick. And then we'll, you, we'll be social. I'll turn this off. Should I feel good about the set? Oh, I forgot we were live. Hey, I'm a gem. Thanks, Haley. Howard's a gem. I didn't. I forgot this whole time we were live. I wouldn't have fallen asleep on your your tail. You didn't know we were live. I forgot. I think it's. Uh, would you say it's timeline worthy, Kevin? I see that forty eight everywhere. It's popular. Really? Yeah. No. A lot of guys are. That's um, Johnson. Yeah. Jimmy Johnson. Not. Yeah. See. There we go. What they say? Feel great, even though Howard fell asleep. <laughs> Timeline worthy set, yes. Real life, I give him a real life set. That's what I said, a living, a living set, a living, breathing set. You should feel amazing. Thank you. Who's that? Zon Doggett. Zon the girl. Howard cracks me up. Thank you. Living set by Howard. I'm getting guest spot love right now. SBS. Liberty. All right, guys, thank you very much. We're going to go be social. Howard and Brody are back, living and breathing. Thank you very much. Positive energy. Good set. I was happy with it. I think I did about 15. Yeah. Have a good night, yeah, and I will. squeeze in a few over the outro. Yep. Perfect. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much.